So we got a nice video for y'all today. We got some info that might help y'all with some future bills or at least let y'all know what's going on right now with your bills in NBA 2K24. And the community is speaking out. <laughs> we got issues they need to address, okay? So without further ado, grab yourself a brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? the right place want a community that's cool you in the right space you want tips subscribe now and ring the bell then go to the park and give them hell the boot squad is an organization with all winners soldiers up in formation we all killers and when you step on the court yo you're our dinner when i play d in the fourth yo Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. so you done know your boy Brew tells him on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause you know everybody gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got that notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section and type first, second, third. Know the gang of Brew Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, we're not gonna stay long today on the video. We're trying to make it as quick as possible. We're getting straight to the point. Uncle Demi tweeted this out. Now, you know he have access to 2K devs directly. Now, he said this. There are a couple of things I want to put out there. So, yes, Vert will help you on rebounding. Now, this is such an understated fact. You know how I know that? My 6'9 center dominates on the boards because he got an 80 something, somewhere around 80 something vert. The vert is up there. And when I tell you he goes flying for rebounds, <laughs> oh, even when he's out of position, it's crazy, y'all. And that's something I learned by accident. I just happened to put on the vert because I wanted certain things. But boy, that vert, yeah, put that on y'all center. Trust me, I don't care what it is. I know a lot of y'all don't, don't usually create y'all centers with vert. Put vert on your build. Now, he also continued to say, also, the ability to move laterally on defense does come from lateral quickness. However, there's an animation issue I'm hearing 2K is fixing that can make it seem as though lateral quickness doesn't matter. Speed is not tied to your ability to move laterally. Now, this has always been like this technically, right? 2K have never figured out lateral quickness. Let me just go out there and say that 2K has never figured out lateral quickness. So those who can adjust in the 2K community been using speed technically. How you do it on defense, and I got a defensive tutorial I will be working on soon for y'all. Trust me, that's gonna break down everything defensively that y'all gonna need in all positions, by the way. I'm, I'm probably gonna do point guard first and do big second, but, um, or guards first and big second. But how you overcompensate or do a workaround is you use speed in that you don't hold the left trigger in terms of being in defensive stand. If you want to make or make up some ground, you release defensive stand and use Tobo, but you got to kind of not overdo it because you could overshoot. But don't worry, I'm going to reveal everything to y'all. But one thing I will say is 2K has never, ever in any 2K figured out lateral quickness, y'all. Trust me on that one. Doesn't matter how high you're defensive because I think your perimeter defense is linked to your lateral quickness. <laughs> Trust me. Smart defenders know not to rely on that defensive stand to make up any ground or to keep up, no matter how high your lateral quickness says it is. Now, let's get to the issues that the 2K community is talking about. We're starting off with my guy, King Jordan 2K. I'm sorry to King Jordan DM, man. I will always call him King Jordan 2K because I knew him before the DM days. But anyways, he tweeted this out. I think this is way too long in the paint. What y'all think? And of course, he's showing this clip right here. Check this out. Mm. 
Now, this has been a long standing issue, especially in the 1v1s, where there is no three seconds. That's why post scorers are so dominant. And it's an easy fix. I wonder why. And this is why 2K devs, you all need to play your game. And you all need to play all the modes. And you all need to play all against all different types of builds. When you hear a lot of people complain about post scorers dominating the 1v1, they got no three seconds. So they got all day to take their time, even if they're not that good or that skilled. They got all day to come back, 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 pump fake, pump fake, pump fake. You jump, got your ass. <laughs> Just put a three seconds in 1v1. It will solve a lot of issues, especially when it comes to post scores. Put three seconds in 1v1s and maybe I'll play it a little bit more. Because last year I played so much 1v1, it was one of my most annoying things, especially if it's make it, take it, y'all. Oh my God. But anyways, let's continue on. Now go and sell the slashes are back. <laughs> the slashes are really complaining this year. I ain't gonna lie. You know me, I'm a rim runner myself, and I do experience some of the issues, but guess what? I don't even care at this point. Because a lot of people in the 2K community, let's be honest, slashes. Let's be honest. Let's have this conversation before I read what Garza is saying. We've been having our way for the past few years, y'all. We've been doing what we want to do in 2K21. We were drawing people from the three-point line and dunking on them, and they were minding their business. 2K22, we were rim running since rim running with that limitless takeoff. It was crazy. 2K23, oh my God. Oh, we had some good years, man. Can we sit down and talk about our oh, good years and stuff? I've complained about what's going on now. Now, again, I'm feeling that it. I'm experiencing the issues every day as well. One of my biggest issues is the donkey meter. And this will expose what 2K is doing with the donkey meters. And this is a perfect example of when we complain about something, 2K don't just slightly nerf it or fix it to perfection. They always go the extreme pretty much all the way. Now, Garcel tweeted this out. 96 driving dunk. 86 perks. Elite context with finishing take. Slurry Hall of Fame, Gold Precision, Dunker, and Poster Riser on Goal Part 2. Right, I know Part 2 coming. But let's, let's go to you on. He said, At Buluba, can we get a buff on our finishing badges or finishing take? He's an 88 overall with a 75 interior and 72 block. Why am I not cramming this in the rim? LOL, FYI, I'm not crying. Just looking out for my people that made similar bills. Hashtag NBA 2K24. Green window, non-existent on take. And I want y'all to check this clip, man. Okay, y'all going above and beyond to patch these slashes, ain't it? <laughs> I tell y'all, bro. 2K, this is why I always caution people about complaining about certain stuff. 2K will completely get it out of the game. I'm telling you, right now, I barely even try to use the bar, bro. I just use the regular dunks because I, I, it makes more sense. Because the bar right now seems like you're rolling a dice. No matter how good you are at timing anything, it's rolling a dice. There is no skill to it. Now it's pure luck, all right, if you use that bar. I don't care who you are, it's pure luck at the end of the day. I had to switch that from that main bar because that main bar is that main possible for me to tell overall. Now, we're going to close off right here from my guy, Chris Hughes. I probably might have butchered your name. Hopefully, I didn't. You know your boy, Brute, running around with a machete for names. He said, at Bruce Sim, this gift to be fixed. He said, this gift to be fixed, bro. He probably need this needs to be fixed or something. That might be a spell check. Of course, I want y'all to check this cheese out, y'all.
<laughs> Every 2K, someone seemed to figure this out, y'all. <laughs> Every 2K, it seemed like certain things always come back. <sighs> yeah, 2K, try to address this, man. I remember, again, last year, I played so much 1v1s. And this was something that some of the centers knew how to do. I actually knew how to do it as well, trust me, because usually people hit me up with a lot of information and stuff. And yeah, it's back in the game, man. So hopefully a dev could see this and address this. Hopefully this video will help you out and anyone else who's going through it, man. So anyways, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what is your boy. See, if you know your boy, gonna always keep y'all informed and put y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. And if you're first time to the channel, make sure like the video share the video and hit your boy a subscribe if it's not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna be informed y'all your boy simon love respect bless up peace